Hi guys, I am back with some exciting happy mail to share with you. Um, so my lovely friend Valerie has sent me this parcel that arrived a couple of days ago and I've been itching and itching to open it. Um, so finally I've had a chance to come down into my studio and film this for you. So this is my initial reaction as I'm opening it. Um, so if you don't know who Valerie is, she's from the Princess Journals. She has a, an Etsy account. She does have an Instagram, but she's not massively active on there. But I'll link her um, Etsy and her Instagram. So she say, sells these amazing journals, and I've been um, a follower of her for quite a while now. Um, I know Dodie from my design team. Um, she bought one of her journals, and it I, honestly, her journals are just amazing. So anyway, I was chit-chatting with Valerie um, and she kindly offered to send me a journal, um, which blew me away. So thank you so much for your generosity, Valerie. And um, well, let's just say we've, we've become good friends now and we chit-chat and things. And I'm really, really excited to receive this parcel from her because like I said, I've been been a massive fan of hers for quite a long time now every time she lists journals i'm just like oh that's amazing um so yeah let's dig in guys so like i said this is my first reaction um to seeing it it's still got the bubble wrap around um because i didn't want anything to fall out <laughs> i didn't want to miss anything so excuse the crunching um, so I know she said that she's made me a journal as well as sent me a few pieces to play with myself, which is really, really kind. She has sent me a letter with this journal, um, but that's something that I've kept for off camera. Um, but she did tell me that um, a lot of this is obviously from Paris, like France. Um, a lot of the papers are hand dyed and hand dyed uh, laces as well and trims and things that she's bought from France. So it really is quite um, a unique piece when it's all those all those extra things that really make a journal. Um, so yeah, let's just dig in. I'm dying to know what is in here. Look, she sent me all these beautiful. This is like a, a like a table sort of doily type thing, which would be an amazing journal cover. I just love the cut lace. Um, I don't actually know what it's called properly, but I love that. It's really pretty. Thank you. And then it looks like she sent me some more beautiful, authentic pieces. Oh my gosh, look at this. Isn't that cute? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Valerie, you've spoiled me. <laughs> I knew she said that she was going to send me a, a few extra pieces, but I wasn't <laughs> expecting this many, if I'm honest. <laughs> Oh, look at this. That is stunning. I don't know what that would have been from, but isn't that gorgeous? Like, even if you just, not that I'd want to, but even if you cut that apart and just used a couple of these on something, like, even the ends of this piece are really pretty. I love that. And then this one here. I'm so excited to see what this journal looks like. It's like buried underneath all this pretty lace. <laughs> I think we've been tracking this parcel for the past sort of week, two weeks, um, eagerly awaiting its arrival. <laughs> That's gorgeous as well, isn't it? And then this looks like a hand-dyed um, piece of lace. So it's this gorgeous, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, it's like this peachy kind of pink colour. Really, really soft and pretty. I absolutely love pastels. So that is totally up my street. Oh my goodness. There's so many beautiful pieces. Look how long this piece is. She's really gifted me a lot here. Absolutely stunning. And it's so fine as well. It's really, really detailed, lightweight, gorgeous. And then... There's some nice tool that has a nice decorative bottom to it. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what's inside. So I'm guessing this is the journal. Um, let's just have a look at what's underneath. Um, I'm just keeping the suspense going here. Oh, look at this sweet little peg that she's wrapped a load of 
lace around as well. Oh, thank you. Oh, and she sent me some black. Do you know what? I don't have much black stuff. And when I was creating my um, mystical... Is it mystical ladies? Mystical women. I can't even remember what I've named my own kit. Uh, when I was creating with that kit, um, I was looking for black lace and I really didn't have anything. So this is an amazing piece. It's got all these pretty flowers on it with these sort of gold metallic accents in it. So that is definitely going to get used at some point. Thank you, Valerie. And then this looks like some printed fabrics that have been dyed. I love the, the font on there. Again, this would make a really nice um, journal cover, wouldn't it? Love that. Oh, more goodies. Oh, so she sent me some vintage, like, book plates of florals. Some, pa like, papers and things in there. I won't open it on camera because it's going to make a lot of noise, but isn't that beautiful? Small willow herb. Gorgeous. So she has sent me a few bits of ephemera. <laughs> okay, we do have a paper bag that we need to open. <laughs> so apologies for any noise. Oh, wow. Look at these. Oh, wow. Look at these wax seals. They are gorgeous. And I know she wrote in her... Um, her her letter that they were from Paris. These were made in Paris. How amazing are those? So I wonder if the person that created these has obviously used authentic sort of wax, um, you know, the authentic stamps. They're amazing. I've never seen designs like that. And I love the colours of them as well. That was really pretty. Wow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use them. <laughs> Thank you, Valerie. <laughs> and then she's also popped in these gorgeous buttons. I love the colour. Amazing. 25 cents. Wouldn't it be nice if things cost as cheap as that these days? <laughs> oh, and then she's got some, like, book plates as well. That's cool. I love them. And then... Oh, well... So it's an old postcard. I'm trying to figure out. I'm guessing it's French by the looks of it. And it's these ladies that are sat there doing their lace work or stitching or something. Oh, wow. It is gorgeous. That would be lovely in a kit. And I'm sure Valerie has probably sent me that too. Um, scan and put in a kit. So watch this space. <laughs> Oh, we can have a Val uh, Valerie-inspired digital kit. Oh, she sent me some stickers. Oh, I love um, swallows. They're so pretty. I love them. Especially for, like, you know, when you send a happy mail and you just want to pop something on the envelope. Oh, I love those. Thank you. And, wow, this is cool. So it's some sort of calligraphy practice kind of sheet. Like, maybe it's like a school book sheet. That's really cool. I like that. <laughs> Amazing. <gasps> she sent me some original documents as well. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm too busy looking at this. I'm hoping I'm, I'm in frame when I'm, looking, I'm filming. <laughs> really, really nice piece of ephemera there. I love the calligraphy on there. Uh, is that 1857, maybe? So, that's very old. Gorgeous. And some more ephemera. Oh, wow. I love all the numbers on this. July, August, September. 19-something. That's amazing. I love that. I absolutely love the handwriting on there. It's really pretty. Oh, and then there's like an invoice um, that hasn't been used, which is nice. It's from Paris as well. That's a really nice piece of ephemera because you could 
obviously do your own journaling on that, which would be really nice. So totally going to have to scan that for future digital kits. Oh wow, look at this. It's this amazing wallpaper piece. And it's got like that pearlescent sort of finish to it as well. That is so pretty. I love that. Wow. I wonder how old that is. I love that. <gasps> oh my goodness. Isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love the French like fashion engravings that you can get. I've got a couple. I don't think they're anywhere near as pretty as this, but they're all colorized as well. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. Oh, Valerie. We're definitely going to have to do a Valerie inspired digital kit cuz these are really amazing pieces of ephemera. Thank you so much, Valerie. I've not even opened your journal yet, but I'm just blown away by all the ephemera. And look at the size of this doily. That is mega. I don't think I've ever had one this size before, but that is really cool that she's wrapped it in. Wow. Okay, so getting onto the journal, the grand finale. I don't want to open it. Oh, I'm too excited. <laughs> so she's wrapped it with some, looks like hand dyed. Um, a ribbon because it's got this sort of um, ombre effect going through it I don't know if you can tell on the camera but it goes white to this really nice dusky pink that's gorgeous and then she's wrapped it in some oh my god that's the journal <laughs> um, she's wrapped it in this gorgeous it must be like a tablecloth or something so it's got some more embroidery work on it Gorgeous. Again, that would be a fabulous piece for a um, journal cover. <laughs> oh my god, here's the journal. She's done it in pink. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Isn't that absolutely chocked full? Oh my gosh. Sorry, just taking a moment in to appreciate how pretty that is. And I know she's been using a lot of my stamps lately. So that's really, really cool to see. Um, thank you. <laughs> oh, and then you've got this like little pearl embellishment here. Love the images. Oh wow. There's like this back pocket as well. Let's let's do the back pocket. <laughs> I just love the trim that she's used on the bottom here because it's got this little frilly bit here. So she's used a piece of original ephemera there and just sort of torn it out and stuck it on. Oh my gosh. So I think this is just a sort of a little booklet here. So the front is sort of layered with pink linen and then she's got some ephemera pieces and then sort of layered with a whole load of lace. Gorgeous. I love how she's added that there. I actually thought that was part of it for a minute then, but it's not. It's actually layered on top of it, which is really cool. And there is the back. Love the Eiffel Tower image. So it looks like she's made a lovely... Um, I think this is one of my snippets, actually. I'm not sure. It might be. But yeah, she's used an original piece of ephemera there. Really pretty handwriting. Oh, and then she's got some stickers. That is cool. I didn't real. I thought that was actually a real cluster then. <laughs> lovely, lovely little notepad. Um, just some plain papers and things that you can take on the go. That's a really fun ledger. It's got like pink and purple. I've never seen a ledger like that. So yeah, she's made a nice little booklet there. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are some of my little labels and things that I've got through various different kits that she's just added. Wow, that is cute. I love that. So, yeah, she, this is um, hand-dyed linen that she actually especially bought from France for me because <laughs> she had an idea in mind of what she wanted to create for me. And um, she said that she had ordered these hand-dyed pieces. So I'm guessing this is one of them. So if you compare that next to it, you can see it's like this pale pink. It's really, really subtle, but it's gorgeous. I love the button that she's added there as well for the belly band. 
So let's pop that back in there. Gosh, look how chunky it is. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, I love this frilly bit at the bottom. It's so pretty. Okay, so she told me to be careful with turning pages and not missing out on things. There's a lot of hidden spots, apparently. Oh my goodness, how pretty is this? I think one of the things that I absolutely love about Valerie's work is the amount of lace that she uses. I, I, even though I have a good amount of lace that I've collected over the years, I'm so reluctant to using it. Like, I... I wish I was a bit braver, if you know what I mean. Um, but, oh gosh, just the layering on this opening page is stunning. I hope this is picking it up on camera. It's a little bit dark here at the moment today, so I've switched on an extra light, so I'm hoping this is going to come out really, um, well, quite, you know, clear enough for you guys to see. So she's got this little clip at the top here. And it's got little diamantes on it. How cute is that? So it's like a rusted bull clip and it's got little gems on it. I mean, of course it's going to have little gems on it because this is Valerie. <laughs> How cute. Oh, and I love that. That is gorgeous. Just the layering alone and the hint, like the slight uh, hints of like salmony, salmony pink and your beautiful self. Love that. And she's used, I think she's used some like original ephemera and then she's added sort of like white paint like around the edges. It's so pretty. I think this is just a journaling card. And it's on some really nice um, sort of watercolour card stock as well, like textured. That's so pretty. So I'm, I'm inspecting everything really well because I don't want to miss any hidden pockets or anything. But yeah, isn't that absolutely stunning? I love that. And that's, you know, just a journal card. We've still got so much to go. <laughs> wow. Oh, Valerie. I knew you were not going to disappoint, my friend. <laughs> okay, so she's got this gorgeous, gorgeous pocket here. Look at that lace. And she's done like a ruffle trim at the top. I know she said that she does a lot of hand stitching of um, like clusters and things with fabrics. Um, so you can tell how many hours have gone into this. If, if you know these, all these little things were hand stitched, and she's added these little buttons and things on the end. Oh, it's so gorgeous! I think, yeah. So that holds on to something on the side. So we need to remember that when we're taking this out. So yeah, we've got a pocket in the background. Excuse me. And then she's used... This is one of my um, the Ladies Memoirs um, digital kit. And she's shrunk the page down really small, which I absolutely love, because that looks really cute when it's that small. It's like a postcard sort of size. Totally going to have to do that. And she's added this gorgeous trim. And then, yeah, I love that. I love how small it is. So, yeah, that is from Ladies Memoirs. And then she's also got this lovely piece that she's done some texture paste on and it's like an original book paper. I think she's used some more of a white paint. Love that technique. I know Nazi from Amity Bloom, if you've ever taken her um, her journal course, um, she shows you how she adds like highlights and things with white, uh, white paint. I need to remember that because I don't do that often enough. I love this piece here, this piece of ephemera. And then she's got this lovely um, piece on the back. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I knew, I just knew that it was going to be amazing. So we'll clip that back in there as it was. And then on this page, so she's used some of my haberdashery um, digital kits as well by the looks of it so I think this was like part of my very first haberdashery kit that I put out it's the one that has all the original swatch cards in it for fabrics and things and this is one of the button cards uh, it was a massive button card in real life um, I think she shrunk this down actually as part of the digital kit 
but I love how she's added this. That is so cool. So she's added the buttons down the side. Love that. Added the button down the side, and then she's actually stitched a safety pin and loads of fabric on as like a little decorative thing. That is such a sweet idea. I love that. Ah, so pretty. Then, oh, it's an original postcard from France. Isn't that gorgeous? I love these. They've like done like tinting of colours on the photographs. I love how they do that. And it's got like that ghostly effect where it's like faded over time. Kind of, um, I think I've said it before in one of Angie's Happy Mails. You know, like if you're looking at, um, I say petrol or diesel over here, but it's gas if you're in America. And it's got that like rainbow effect if you look at it in the sun. It's got that effect around the edge of this. And it looks really cool. I love the letterbox that's covered in florals. But it's still got the, um, the stamp on it as well. So it's got... Um, yeah, I think, isn't that Happy Happy New Year or something, I think, in French? So someone's obviously gifted that to a family or friend or whatever. Love that. It's gorgeous. And then she's added what looks like an original envelope as well from France. Mad Mademoiselle. God, I really do butcher the French. <laughs> the French language, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's still got the original letter in it as well. Wow, gorgeous. There's the date at the top there. Lovely handwriting. So, like, really teeny tiny. Gorgeous. We have to make sure we keep that back in its original envelope, don't we? Okay, so, trying to remember to put things back where they came from, but I'm probably going to mess that up big time. Okay, so on to the next pocket. Oh my goodness. Look at this trim. It's got like this really bright pink, like stitching through it. It's really cool. So it looks like she's made. Oh, I'm scared. I think she's just clipped a couple of pieces on the top here. Let's just take these out carefully because I don't want to ruin anything. I think. Yeah, so that's part of the page in the background. And it's like this really pale pink like letter or something. Love that. That's really cool. And then, oh look. How cute. So, 1948. It's like a family, maybe a vacation picture or just south of France, maybe. I don't know. That's cool. There's lots of little girls. Two little boys. Little baby there. Oh. And then what else? Oh, she's putting more original ephemera. <laughs> wow. Isn't that gorgeous? One of those sort of trading card type things. She's picked out all these amazing sort of sort of haberdashery related items because she knows I absolutely love that kind of thing. Love that. And then another Yep, it's definitely an original. Still got the crease marks from where the waxing was. Look at the calligraphy on there. So, another French document from 1843, I think it says. Like a receipt or something. Look at the wax. It's like a yellow colour. That's really cool. So pretty. I love this paper. I've, I've looked for really thin paper like this in the UK and I just can't seem to find anything that's anywhere near as pretty. Oh, and then she's made like a little booklet. How cute is that? And this is one of my images as well from one of my kits. So she's made a little booklet here and then she's got a little tuck with another piece of ephemera in there. And then she's used some more stickers. <laughs> That's cute. I love that. So let's try and put this back how it was, Sam. 
sound a little bit horsey today, I'm afraid. I'm still getting over a horrible cold that I had lately. Oh wow, look at this. There's um like a diary page or something. It's got really pretty handwriting on it, and she's used that as a, a journal page. So I think this that's what she means about turning pages gently because there are a lot of authentic pieces. It's really pretty. Wow, that is gorgeous. So she's taken an image that's it's not one of mine, but she's printed it on vellum and it's this gorgeous I'm trying to show you but I'm doing a bad job, aren't I? These gorgeous flowers and it's got like a really pink like faded background, but she's printed it on vellum so you can actually see what's through the next page. That's really pretty. And then so as the peephole, she's got these lovely image of a lady in the background there and then again i think that's some more of this really pale pink ephemera that was from the previous page i think oh no it's a different piece so i was just trying to figure out so it's one one signature in this journal but yeah it's a really really nice pale pink paper that looks like original ephemera and then some lovely space to journal. Not that I could actually put my horrible handwriting in this gorgeous journal. <laughs> oh, look at this. Original ephemera again with this gorgeous handwriting. It's really petite handwriting. And it's on that sort of rag paper as well. And then, oh, see, the... The pockets are just so pretty. The way that she layers all of her pieces. So she's got some paper ruffles on the bottom, which, again, I think are original pieces of ephemera. <laughs> and then she's layered on this really pretty piece of um, lace on top, and she's created a pocket. And then in there, oh, gosh, that's a, an original postcard again. And it's one of those ones that they've... Um, coloured. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. It's really pretty. And then you've got the original stamp on the back and the address. I love that. Oh my goodness. Oh, and then here's some more of this um, diary page that we had here. This is the June page. So she's obviously got a, like a, um, a diary, a French diary of some description that's got all these beautiful pieces of handwriting in it. And then what else have we got? Um, oh, isn't that cute? I love that. Whatever causes night in our souls may leave stars. Victor Hugo. I love that. It's just like this little sort of quote card. Maybe she got it off of a, a greeting card or something, but I love that. I love that she's put pop that in and then I recognize this this is one of my digitals as well I think it's like the oh god Valerie you're testing my my um my knowledge of my own digitals here <laughs> um I think it's from the shabby papers collection but I love that I love that she's included my digitals as well as others in this oh it's so exciting can you pop in there nicely, please? Behave. We're on camera. We need to behave. <laughs> pop that back in there. I love just like the hint of the green as well against the pink. Just to sort of break it up a little bit. Uh, more beautiful, beautiful pieces of lace. And again, she's made another pocket. Gosh. Oh, I love this image. So that looks like something that she's printed. I don't know... I don't know whose digital that is, but that is gorgeous. I love the flowers with the stack of letters, and it's like a faux Polaroid. I've no idea whose digital that is, um, but it's gorgeous. I love that. Oh, and then she's got some more, yeah, another original photograph in there. Look at these ladies. I don't care about the man, he's faded, but look at these beautiful ladies <laughs> in all their attire. That's really cute. And then we've got another lovely piece of ephemera, 1890. Again, look how tiny that handwriting is. Like, 
I actually, even if I could speak French, I wouldn't be able to read that because it's just so tiny. They didn't like to waste space, did they? Oh, that's beautiful. Gorgeous. If anybody knows whose digital that is, please just put it, put it in the comments below. I'd love to know who whose digital that is. It's really pretty. Uh, did that clip on there? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to rewatch the video. And then it looks like she's done a, a bit of... I think that's stamping, by the looks of it. I don't recognise the stamp, but I like that. And then she's added... Pretty sure, I'm about 99% sure that that is a art house whimsy image because she brought them out recently and I've been cutting some of them out as well. One of her, um, like a fussy cut florals that she brought out recently. I'll have to try and link it below because I can't remember the name of it, but really gorgeous image. See, the rains have passed and the flowers and the flowers appear. Oh, that's so cute. I love the little quotes and things. And then, oh my goodness, Valerie, you've got some amazing ephemera. So this is another original document. Again, absolutely stunning. December 1868. Like, that's that's amazing how these things last this long, honestly. And then that's the other side. And that says January 1869. Wow. Really, really pretty. Um... Oh, we've got more original photographs. My favourite thing. I, I love old photography. It's funny, actually, because um, myself and Valerie were talking about how we're both into photography. Um, I did it as sort of... <laughs> so when I was, like, young teenage uh, age group, I was really in photography and art and things, but I really wanted to be a wildlife photographer. Yeah, it didn't happen. <laughs> but I love animals and things and I, I really love photography um, that's really pretty I love that they must be siblings must be their little sister that's so cute look at his like neckerchief -y type thing I don't know what it's called but I love how it's come out of like a scrapbook or something because it's still got the bits around the side <laughs> that's so cute then Again, an original Paddy. Just love that. Just gorgeous. And what's it say there? 1865. Gosh. Sorry, doing a rubbish job here, aren't I? And again, it's still got some of the remains of where the the original wax was. So obviously as that was folded when they've opened it, it tore this hole here. And I just love that. I love that about these old letters and things. But yeah, the penmanship in this is gorgeous. The numbers. I love numbers. <laughs> That's so pretty. I love how they just used to fold them up like this. So fun. Oh my goodness. This, this oh, such a gorgeous joke. <laughs> And then this is one of my chabby photographs, um, one of my um, haberdashery ones that she's used. <laughs> and then she's actually used an original, um, like, clothes label of some description, shirt maker. Ed Edward Welsh shirt maker, Alabama. Oh, no, sorry. Alba Albany, New York. Sorry, I need to say Al Alabama. Wow, that's really cool. And then she's just used some, like, Original ephemera. Oh, sorry, that way around. 1824 has a little snippet at the bottom there. Nice journal card. I love that. And she's actually got like this. It's like she's um, rusted up some. Um, oh my goodness, Sam. Um, staples. Gosh, that was hard. <laughs> Looks like she's rusted some staples and she's popped that through. Unless that's the off the original label, I'm not sure. But that's cool. Wow. Piece of pink ephemera. That's so cool. <laughs> 39. Again, a French French um 
invoice of some description, maybe. A receipt. I'm not really sure. Oh, I've got loads of these myself, but I'm, I'm not really sure what they are. That's really cool. I love that it's pink. Where do you find these pink pieces of ephemera? Because I definitely don't have any. Well, I do now, but... <laughs> oh, and then that's the other half. Um, is that the other half? No, we haven't reached the middle yet. That's another piece of pink original ephemera. Which, again, I think is French. Yeah, it's French. And it's that really pretty peachy pink. I love these just random pieces of lace that she's added. So pretty. Some writing space. Okay, so I have found a pocket. I hope I haven't missed any others. God, I actually forgot I was supposed to be checking. Uh, I don't think I have missed any. So I think this... Oh, that's so pretty. I think this is our first hidden pocket at the side. So let's... Oh no, it's not a pocket. It's a belly band. So, look how pretty that is. That piece of lace is so gorgeous. It's like this little tiny ditzy floral on it. Oh, that's such a pretty, pretty piece. So yeah, she's made that as a, a belly band. And then she's made a tag attached to the top of it. And I'm pretty sure that is one of my rubber stamps. <laughs> that is so cool. I love that. And then I think that's another one of Tracy's um, Art House Whimsy. Oh, a little teeny tiny version. She must have shrunk them down a lot that she's added there. Oh, I love the tiny buttons that she's put on the image as well. That's so pretty. So inside that, there's this lovely original postcard. I love that. I love the ruins in the background there. I wonder if it was a church or something, just looking at the... The way that the windows are. Paris, again. That's a really pretty picture. And then... Oh, wow. It's pink ephemera. <laughs> That's really cool. It's um, a map of Paris. <gasps> Love it. Oh, sorry. Nearly dropped it. Oh, it's like a, like a little... Booklet type thing. Wow, that's so cool. I love that. Mostly because it's pink, but I absolutely love that. <laughs> Gosh. Valerie, you spoke me, lady. And then, what do we have here? So we have some more original ephemera by the looks of it. So it's like another invoice of some description, maybe. And turning the page, it's got this gorgeous piece of lace down the side here. And then in here, it's another original, and I love how she's sort of added another one of Tracy's um, flowers, um, like Fussy Cut It. Again, made it really, really small. And then she's put, um, she's stapled um, a stamp on it as well. But it's on that really pretty rag paper. That's so pretty. I love all the, the numbers and things on there. And the handwriting. It's gorgeous. But I just love how she's just sort of made it her own piece of ephemera, if you will. Um, I love that. That's so pretty. I'm totally going to be printing more of them off tonight. Super small and cutting them out. <laughs> like I said, I will try and find the um, listing of Tracy's um, flowers for you. Because those are gorgeous. And then look at these churches as well. Again, sort of within keeping of the journal, so it's got like that peachy pink to it again. So I bet that's why she's picked that piece of ephemera. So we're at the middle, I've just realised. So yeah, she's used an, origi an original document and folded it up to create pockets. Again, a gorgeous journal card that she's made. So she's done some more texture paste. Love this image. Don't know where that's from. Again, really, really pretty. Listen to your heart. And then some more of these really pretty labels. I don't recognize them, but they're really nice. And some more lace. And yeah, just a lovely sort of journal card. Beautiful. 
Oh, my goodness. And then another piece of original ephemera. That's really cool. It's an unusual shape. I've never seen that kind of shape before. But it says doctor, so I, don't, I wonder if that's related to some kind of doctor's uh, receipt or notes or something. I don't know. Prescription, maybe. I don't know. Oh, and then she's made another one of my... Um, Ladies Memoirs kit, and she's shrunk it down to like postcard size again. And then she's used one of my stamps, <laughs> and again, one of Tracy's little um, flowers. That is so pretty. It's so simple, but it's so pretty. And again, it's laid onto really nice um, watercolor cardstock. And then she's got this teeny tiny butterfly. That's so cute. And then Hope is Never Lost, which is looks like hand stamped on there as well. That's so pretty. I love that one. Totally inspired Valerie, honestly. Just absolutely gorgeous. She did say that she would leave some pages for journaling, but that's not going to happen from me, I'm afraid. I'm too much... I, I just... I love journals. I don't necessarily do anything I don't journal <laughs> this is confessions of a journal designer <laughs> I don't journal but I love having these beautiful pieces of artwork to look at um I would never want to put my own handwriting in there partly because I hate my own handwriting but anyway how pretty is this gorgeous piece of lace it's really fine sheer sort of lace and this pretty um, embroidery on it. I say embroidery, I don't really know the terms of these things, I'm not going to lie. But she's made like a little tuck from the bottom, which is really cool. Again, she's taken one of my ladies' memoirs images and shrunk it down really small, made a little postcard. Love that. Oh, and then she's put a um, pink piece of ephemera, a real piece, on this lovely sort of advertisement for corsets. Love that. And then, oh, how cute is this? So again, it's another original um, postcard. And it's got these two darling little girls on it. It looks like they may be sisters and she's comforting her sister. That's so sweet. I love that. Oh, too cute. So that pops back in there. There's the other half of that really nice, it's kind of like newsprint kind of paper. So it's really thin, really pretty. But she's sort of like reinforced it by adding just some really simple tool um, to the crease mark. And then some more ledger. I can see she's done some stitching here. That's because she's added another little pocket with a button on. And that's some really nice textured piece that she's created. And then there's another pocket. Again, she's reinforced anything that's delicate with laces and things. And she's popped in a little journal card with the rose. Some paper there so you can write on it. It's really cute. And then this looks well, like an eco die. You can just faintly see, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, there's actually like a leaf image here and a leaf image here. So that looks like a bit of a piece of eco dyed paper but it happens to be pink <laughs> I love this image as well I love these girls I don't know which digital they're from they're not mine I know that um, but they're gorgeous love that you'll have to tell me who that's from and again that a gorgeous piece of lace oops and that just pops into there see how sheer that is it's so thin like I don't want to tear it. Then again, the other side of the ledger. Really pretty, original. God, so pretty. How she, like I said, all the layering of all the laces and things. Oh, so she's made like, she's got a tag that she's stuck down on one side. And it's just like a little top spot. And I love that she's added a little key to it as well. Like, everything that she makes is just super, super sort of feminine and pretty and 
Oh, no. That's so gorgeous. And then she's got another faux Polaroid. It looks like she's... I think she's added some sort of matte finish paint or something to it. So it's not shiny. She's got a little stamp at the bottom there. Gorgeous image. So it tucks in to there. And then... Oh, another gorgeous original postcard. This lady collecting her apples. Really pretty. Love that. And then some more original ephemera. Again, this is on a really pale pink piece of paper. 98. It's actually got uh, an emblem on there as well. So somebody had some very fancy stationery. <laughs> and I love how they ran out of space and started to write sideways. Um, so yeah, someone had a lot to say. <laughs> and they didn't have enough room. I love that. It's like this, it's got a gold sh shimmer to it. It kind of looks like it's embossed. But I don't, I'm pretty sure that's how the paper came. Correct me if I'm wrong, Valerie. That's so pretty. Back in there. And then, oh wow, so she's got an actual rusty, um, like, hair grip. That's cool. Never thought of doing that. Just oh no, I haven't. Thought I'd messed it up now on the other side. I recognise that. That's definitely one of mine. Don't ask me which one it's from. <laughs> oh, look at those. Oh, isn't that cute? Look at their hair and everything with the little bows in their hair. They must be sisters as well. Again, original piece of ephemera. I mean, the back of that is gorgeous. Just the handwriting and everything. It's really pretty. So sweet. And then she's got another one of her handmade tags. Again, really pretty. I love the image of the women and their dresses. I think that's one of my labels. Gorgeous tag. And then a piece of ephemera is a, uh, for corsets. She's just backed that with some original. Piece of ephemera. So yeah, she's used a, a little hair clip um, as a grip. No. Hair grip as a clip. <laughs> That's really pretty. I love that. And then, uh, I wonder if that was on there. Mm, don't know. Might have been. But isn't that gorgeous? That's another tag that she's created. So I think that's my paper in the background. And then she's added this texture paste again. And a label and a sticker. And then this really pretty faux sort of Polaroid of a... Um, a hat box or something, or yeah, pretty sure that's a hat box. That's so pretty. I love that. I love the style of the tag as well. Uh, was that on there? I don't know if that was on there, so we will just put it there. Some more papers to not write on. <laughs> um, oh, the other side of the rag paper ephemera. So I'm waffling on, I'm going through this really slowly, but I just don't want to miss anything. So it looks like she's made like a little note card that's like a flip up. So it's on this really nice handmade paper. And then that looks like an original, um, are they called German scraps, I think? And she's just stuck it on there and put it on there with a little button. Again, really, really sweet and delicate. I love that. Some more paper. That's that really pale pink paper. The other side of the printed vellum. Absolutely love that. It's really pretty. And then the other sides of some of these papers. That's that image again from my... I think it's shabby papers or something like that. And she's made like a bit of an up tuck here. So there are some pieces of ephemera in there. Oh, look at these. Looks like magazine sort of cuttings out of these really pretty images of um, dresses. I love that. Absolutely love that. I just realised it's English as well. For men as well as women. 
Oh, and then, oh, actually, it opens up. Oh, that's so pretty. I mean, it looks like absolute pain to wear a contraption, doesn't it? That is insane. Like, that's just a spaghetti junction of a uh, corset, if you ask me. Body brace. God, that's insane that people would wear something like that. But yeah, I love, I really love those images. So pretty. I wonder how old this piece of ephemera is. It looks like a newspaper or magazine or something. And then she's got another original invoice or receipt, maybe. It's got a um, stamp on it still. 1895, I think that says. Really pretty. I love their um, their font that they've created the branding with. I think I just love all the the marks on it, all the old patina. I just love how that looks and like how the you can faintly see where the the, the stamp is from the other side. I I just love the patina of old papers like that. So yeah, she's got that, so it tops nicely in there. Really pretty. And then some more of my paper, and that is the end of the journal. <gasps> oh my goodness. That is just so, so beautiful. Just, I know it's not even something that I would create because I just, like I say, I'm really reluctant on using so many lovely <laughs> lace like that. But that's why Valerie's journals just are so gorgeous there's just so much texture to them and they're just so beautiful and feminine um <laughs> valerie i've absolutely loved getting to know you over the last couple of months and i'm so honored to have one of your beautiful journals um in my possession that i will be keeping hold and holding it close to my heart because that's really really sweet that you sent me one of your journals. I really appreciate all the work that you've gone into putting this together for me. And it's totally <laughs> up my street, the pinks and the pastels and all the lace. And and thank you so much again for all this amazing ephemera, which I totally have to scan in now and create something with. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll stop gushing now. But <laughs> thank you so much, Valerie, for this amazing gift um and i hope everyone has enjoyed opening this with me i wanted to record my you know initial reaction and discovery together um and it's just gorgeous so you know like i said please check out it, her etsy shop i'll link it below um and you know check out her work and support her work because they're absolutely beautiful um and the craftsmanship that's you know gone into it as well just uh, just stunning um so yeah i am hopefully going to be back within the next couple of days or certainly this week coming um because i have some new digital kits to share with you which i'm really excited about and funnily enough they're haberdashery related uh but with a twist so um yeah, I'll be back soon. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. And again, thank you so much to Valerie um, for this amazing happy mail. I really appreciate it. And take care, everybody. And I will be back shortly. Bye-bye.